Steven J. Trifonoski versus Gage Poljak. Trip Gaming versus Nim Nim. Let's go. But before we get into this video, I do have some bad news. I do have some some bad news. And uh, I hope you guys don't get too mad at me. I will not be using my signature deck. I will not be playing a Pendulum deck today. Because instead, I'll be playing every Pendulum deck, baby. Let's go. Every Pendulum deck. We're playing Cyber Magic Record Four Ball Magician against Nim Nim's Live Twins. So if you're ready for the video, smash the subscribe button because we're almost at 50,000 subscribers. And at 50,000 subscribers, you guys see a squad rock in the background, right? And it will be the return of Trip Fitness. Let's go. So smash the subscribe button. And also smash the like button because we're still releasing budget pendulum videos. So smash the like button to get the video to 1,500 likes. With that being said, boys, it's time. Cue the sick ass music, baby! It is time for the boss music! Trip Steven, Jay Trivanoski versus Nim Nim. Coming right now! Let's go! King of the castle, king of the castle. Don't mind me, boys. I'm just uh, flexing my championship belts that can be found on TriffGaming.com, uh, my playmats. So get yours right now, boys. Triff Gaming versus Nim Nim. Let's go. We're playing live twins today, and I think this is going to be a pretty cool deck. This is going to be fun. Let me give that Triff Aruni a call here. Oh, now he doesn't pick up. Weenie. You're the weenie because you're not playing pendulums. But even though Nim Nim is a weenie, you guys should still subscribe to him because he's my boy. Hence, he should be your boy by affiliate. Let's go, baby. Let's get started now on my deck. What pendulum deck am I playing? Yes. I will be playing Zephra, Magician, Performa Pal, Magic Spectre, with the cherry on top being Mystic Mind. Let's go. So, this idea behind this deck is that you have a, everything's a scale. Zephra, Penko, all that. You don't need Servant and Abductor. You don't need them to resolve. You get the Zephra on the scale. You get one of these in low scale. And every one of the cards, you look at the first 22 cards in this deck, plus like the 12 small cards, it's 34 cards. They're all plus ones. That's the idea of the deck. A bunch of plus ones to regenerate your hand. Rank 4 Turbo to Dweller for against Drytron. Purple Poison to kill Vanity Ruler. Side in against VFD, and it just destroys the rest of the format. Blitzkrieg's through traps, etc. So, anyways, we'll be using this deck against uh, against Nim Nim's strategy of live twin dogma. So now let's get into the duel. Before we get into the duel, boys, let me know in the comments who do you think's gonna win, the best deck or Nim Nim's cool live twin strategy. Let me know down in the comments, and let's get started. Game one. Let's go. First, let's compare our profile pictures. Gamma and a cool BLS. I think it's BLS or Dark Chaos Magician or something. I'm not a weeb. I don't know the old cards. I only know the good cards. Like every card in my hand, baby. So here I go Oracle of Zephyr to start my turn. Going to, into Zephyrath. Zephyrath now is going to send Zeph uh, Zephyr Nui. And clearly you could tell here that he's playing hand traps that are good for this format. So you have to instantly give respect to Nim Nim here because he knows that I'm going to be playing Pendulums and he still decided to keep the Crow and the Bell and not change his deck for me. So you instantly have to give respect to him for that. But uh, unfortunately for him, they're not going to work very well for him. Or are they? I went so greedy here. I go to a Time Star to try and search a card uh, and then normal summon. I use my normal summon yet. Get a plus and then go into rank four. Uh, and then I just go Baguska double counter trap. That's typically the game plan here. Or Dweller double counter trap. But uh, he's going to end up ghost spelling my time star. So that is not good for me at all. So now we're going to go to his turn. I'm like, you know what? It's fine. I have two counter traps. We're still in a good position here. And I'm going to add it to end phase with Celestial. That's the whole point of this deck. That now when I go nine pillars to destroy my Zephyr Nui, I can search Zephyr Providence. And every single turn, it's like you're getting pluses every single turn. And with Time Star protecting them, this is going to be really good for me. He goes Crow for the Providence. Then he's going to uh, use Ecclesia Fact. I'm going to negate that Nadir. I'm going to negate Nadir. Leaving him with Torrential and Floridalese. He summons Floridalese, sets up Torrential Passes. I go Time Star to add from the graveyard here. I Pendulum Summon 
and then on the summon of harmonizing the, uh, the monster, he'll go torrential. But then I'm gonna use time star to protect all my monsters. Uh, now destroying uh, everything except for that. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and Celine and Axis Code. I'm gonna lose, uh, I don't. Uh, one of my friends brought this to my attention. Who I'll, I edit with one of my friends. He says he wasn't sure that Time Star would be able to protect the Pendulum monsters because uh, it'll also die. I don't think that's true. But if any of you guys in the comments could let, let us know, to, uh, uh, so you know that I think Time Star still protects. Uh, but there's a chance Time Star won't protect because it'll also die from the Torrential. But even in that scenario, I have five cards to his zero, so I'm still gonna obviously win. Uh, at this point, I use Selene, a really cool play. Selene to special the Sorcerer from the Graveyard. I use Time Start to protect by sending the Sorcerer. So that's how I got the Sorcerer to the Grave. And then Selene special, and I'm gonna trigger Sorcerer's effect here to add. That is so cool. And then I'm gonna normal summon. I have a normal yet to go second donkey. Uh, second donkey is really, really good in this deck. This is your normal summon. So, so let second donkey and sorcerer give nine of them, and those are the normal summons you search. Or time star to search celestial to normal. That way, any normal summon you get is a plus one. That's what you want. It's like skull Crypt at Joker was never banned. Anyways, I'm gonna go into Axis Code Talker. I'm gonna put him at 7,800 damage, and things are looking bad because I couldn't OTK him. But can I? Oh, I see. I see you have under 800 life points in him, Nim. And I see that I have two level fours on the field. Uh, main phase two, Nim Nim, you have yeed your last haw, baby. Ha ha ha! Gaga Gaga Cowboy! Let's go! Oh yeah! And Gaga Cowboy for game. Now we're gonna go to game number two. Game number two, he's gonna go first here. You see his hand of strike and droll and punishment. That's not looking good for me. But you wanna, you wanna know what is looking good for me? This very beautiful Harpy's Feather Duster. Let's go. I'm going to destroy both of them. I'm going to go pen call here. And then after I pen call, he's going to draw me. And I'm going to drop a Mystic Mine and say, haha, let's go. He ends up drawing his Lilla now. It was a little late for him. He's playing Live Twin Dogma. He couldn't get it. Uh, and he couldn't get it off in the last game. This game, he drew it one turn too late. And now that I have Oracle of Zephyr, I'm just going to OTK him or do as much damage as possible. I realize my deck doesn't OTK at this point. I can't really OTK. So what I'm going to do instead is just set up. Or can't. I'm sure this is an, oh, this is an OTK. This is Selene Axis Code uh, Trapeze Magician. So this should be an OTK. Yeah, I know almost something gets less. Yeah, it is an OTK. Axis Code, and then I Trapeze, and I kill him. Uh, good times, Trapeze. And then I'm going to win the match here. So that was an amazing match versus Nim Nim. It's unlucky that he drew, he drew a little bit bad. But we are going to go ahead here and actually run it back, boys. You can't have... Gage can't go on that note, bro. Gage is Gage, bro. He's a sealed only god. He cannot only go out on that note. So you know what? We're running back the rematch, baby. Let's go. We are running back the rematch. This time he goes first, and he's gonna go off. He opens so broken. Very good for him. He's gonna go live to him combo, and he's gonna have droplets, and he's gonna have a great follow up for next turn. I'm gonna go poison. He ashes my alliance, and I'm like, fuck. I needed my pen call to resolve. In this scenario, I need also my Zephyr Nui to resolve. If I could Pendulum Summon Zephyr Nui and Harmonizing, I win this duel. Uh, but he's going to pop like he should. And now I'm, I'm, I'm fucked. I, I can't win this duel now. So here we are in our second match. He's going to do some sort of pop. I'm like, I can't win this. It's very unfortunate. So we're going to go to game two now. And game two, if you guys see my hand, he has evenly and Tarantula clear the board. He has, he has a really good hand here. Evenly to clear something. Normal Lilla and go off. He has Ecclesia to bait and negate. In my hand, it is not very good, man. I hard draw the trap, which sucks. I don't have any play to make a rank 4. This is, like, like very bad for me. Because I'm not even going to be able to do a rank 4 play. I'm forced to normal summon the Bambuku to get a low scale in Nekomata. I'm going to Pendulum Summon. And I have no rank 4 play. I'm just going to have to get a follow-up here. So this is not really good for me. I'm going to pass on two counter traps and hope it's enough. And this is actually where we're going to stop the duel. Uh, you guys see, he's going to have a Monster Reborn as well that he's going to drop for turn. I'm not sorry, I used that as well to add for the next turn. Then he's going to drop the Monster Reborn. Now, I'm not going to show you guys how the rest of this duel, uh, duel goes. You guys have seen the amazing match. You guys have seen how amazing my Perform Pal Magic Spectre Zephyr Magician deck is. The rest of match number two will be on my Patreon. So if you guys want to go check out my Patreon down below, we're going to showcase the rest of this match. And I will tell you guys, it is a doozy. It will go to game three. And it is going to be in massive game three. He opens D-Barrier going first in game three. It's insane. If you guys go, go, go check that out on Patreon. Also on Patreon, I do post... Every single day, it's legitimately my second channel where I post a lot of stuff on there, whether it be anything from deck lists or even replays. But every single YouTube video that I post has a secondary supplementary video on Patreon. 
uh, as even more information. It's like my second channel where I still post as much as I post YouTube on there. Anyways, big shout out to Nim Nim for coming onto the channel and having this amazing match. We're also going to do an amazing match in a few days, which you guys are going to see on the channel. So make sure to go subscribe to my boy Nim Nim down below. Don't forget to subscribe to your boy the Pen God down below. And also, you guys can't forget the best play match in Yu Gi Oh! Get them right now on tripgaming.com. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Hey!